Hey everyone, just going to try and put together a little review for the 1 4th scale Bruce Lee Way of the Dragon uh, by Enterbay. Uh, absolutely amazing figure. I'll try and show you everything I can. Uh, I'll try and keep the review quite brief because these HD videos, well, with this new camera I got, it takes a long time to process anything and it's quite hard to edit because my computer's struggling to keep up with the technology. I need to update my PC. Um, this is the other relaxed or sort of more calm head sculpt. Really cool. A bit more light. Really heavy. Like the uh, Bruce Wayne head with the Batman. That was really heavy in this one. They're both really heavy. Uh, just amazing. I mean, the articulation is everything you could want it to be. He can do the box splits. I could have him, you know one leg completely up in the air. I mean, if you look at the showcase videos, you can see him doing all the different kicks and stuff, but uh, one thing I really like about this is they're really, the hands are really on there, you know, they're just nice and tight, but they're super easy to take on and off. I mean, you can do it all one-handed. You don't have to heat anything up, or uh, this might be tricky to do <laughs> one-handed, but let's give it a whirl. I'm trying to get the right angle, but yeah, that's on now. Yep. Super easy to change the hands, which I really like. And just like the uh, Batman, uh, all the hands hold what they're supposed to hold really well. Like the hands that hold these little darts, uh, they do that very well. I don't know if I can do this one handed, I'll try. But actually, that's a nunchuck hand, what are we doing? Uh, how many hands do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hands. And uh, two nunchucks. One big long staff or uh, the wooden stick. Oh, and I love the uh, these little tickets as well. His uh, train tickets when they were trying to get him to leave. I don't know if you're going to be able to get that but yeah crazy mad detail it's all it's all there <laughs> uh, this opens up and the ticket goes inside and tricky to do too much zoom <laughs> but yeah you can you can see it's crazy detail crazy it's all there it's a proper ticket but one fourth scale. Madness. Um, there's this stick. It's massive. <laughs> it's wood. Yep, yeah, sorry, I was just trying to get it to cut through the air so you can hear it, but yeah, it's awesome. Um, let's see. He got his vest, which is uh, super awesome, but always makes me think of Die Hard. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had a one fourth Bruce Willis, uh, but yeah, no, the vest is fantastic. And uh, when the vest is on, his muscles cut through the vest, and you can see, just like in real life, if someone was wearing a tight vest, uh, you can see the, uh, you know, the abs and all that. You can see him all cutting through the vest, and it looks really real and amazing. Uh, his shirt, or I might not be uh, calling it by the right name. Sorry about that. But this garment here is just fantastic really soft and um, you know you got his uh, little tie up buttons and it's a, it's a it's a tough one trying to decide how to display him I mean like I say he can do pretty much any pose you would want him to do and he's got about how many different looks you've got this look you've got the look with the vest on the look with the vest and the shirt open on top and then the other look with the the shirt done up uh, like he wears for most of the film uh, and then of course with the uh, the backpack you get as well and the tickets in the top pocket that's a great look but um, just super realistic I mean you can see when I'm moving his head it's just it's scary you know <laughs> what an incredible figure 
So here you go, I mean, I know the pose may not be 100% accurate, I'm not, um, I don't do martial arts, so uh, I'm sure there's a few people looking at this thinking his leg is a bit too straight or something, but I'm just trying to show you he can do some crazy stuff. I mean, this looks pretty cool. In fact, I think I've done this pose better in the actual showcases. I just kind of chuck this together quickly now just to show you he can do the kick, but... And he's not leaning on anything, he's just using the uh, the stand there and the one leg to keep him up. And he's fine, he's perfectly safe. So yeah. Awesome. It's one pose out of the way. And another little pose. Very nice. Very nice. And here's another pose with the stick. And turn his head this way. It changed the head. I'm not very good at posing him with the stick to be honest, I've uh, found that I can't really imagine anything up in my head that looks cool so I've just kind of got him like this at the moment but just to give you an idea, I mean the stick is massive, look at that. Remember it's one fourth scale so it's big. Yeah but I can't really say enough good things about it, I mean I'm just going to end up repeating myself a lot, but it really is fantastic. I mean, if you're a Bruce Lee fan, this is it. Until uh, Inter Bay do maybe a 1 4 scale game of death or Enter the Dragon, this is it. Another little pose holding the nunchucks. And you get the light. It's a pretty epic one. Maybe that would look better with the angry head. Oh, and um, inside the mouth there, uh, there's actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this, but there is a little bit of tongue or something going on inside. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to pick it up, but there is more detail inside that mouth. <laughs> Putting his vest on wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm just filming a little bit of this so you can get an idea um, how this works. I just pulled it over his arms. And, oh, cool. Now I just have to tuck it in, uh, which could be a real pain in the butt because I might have to undo his um, this black tie bit here. I just wanted to show you a little look with the vest on because I like that look. It's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, he needs tweaking, I've just literally just put his arms down and chucked the vest on him, but that looks mean, like he's just ready to, yep, awesome. One of the best figures ever made, absolutely feel confident saying that. There's another one, <laughs> but yeah, absolutely awesome. I suppose I could whack on the shirt for you, now that I've got the hard part, I mean the vest was the, um, the bit I was worrying about, but now I can just put the shirt on top, so I'll make another little cut. I'm just trying to show you guys as many looks um, as I can, I hope the lighting's okay. Uh, it looks bright through the camera, but when I, uh, when I put it on the PC it's a lot darker, so I'm hoping so far everything's been okay, uh, light-wise for you guys. 
Uh, I was trying to get a pose right here. I haven't done it. I haven't managed to succeed here. But there's a character called Law in Tekken, the game that does like a one-inch punch power pose. Well, power pose, <laughs> like a power move, um, where he does like the one-inch punch. And uh, I tried to remember him head what that looked like. I think he had one arm like that, and the other one. This is like you know about to blast out. But yeah, that's what I was trying to go for. But I got the shirt on. And we'll set open. And, um, yeah. Alright, and uh, I guess we'll make this the last pose. I think you get the idea. It looks amazing no matter what you do with it. Um, that's him. Okay, and just to say goodbye, wrap up with this uh, final pose with the, uh, the traveling bag over his shoulder and the tickets in the pocket. Uh, I didn't try to do up the shirt because I, um, I think I'll end up posing him in just his vest or maybe with the shirt open, but there he is. Absolutely flawless figure, work of art. If you're a Bruce Lee fan, highly recommend that you get it. Uh, I do believe it is the overall just the best Bruce Lee uh, figure to date. Uh, there's some statues out there which I've never actually seen in person, so I don't really want to compare this to uh, some of the other statues that have been done of Bruce Lee, but this is um, truly, truly, truly a, just an amazing jaw-dropping representation. And uh, as you saw, there's a limitless amount of uh, poses and looks you can have with this. I mean, you could, you could be there all day just changing up the poses. It is fantastic. Um, so I can't praise it enough. Um, this is amazing. So that's my review. I know it's uh, it's not the most in-depth review, but I just uh, wanted to show you guys this uh, in sort of HD video uh, rather than just photographs. This really is worth showing. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let me just turn him to the side. Oh, I'm leaning forward a bit for some reason. Okay, that's it. One-fourth scale Way of the Dragon Bruce Lee by Enter B. 10 out of 10.